welcome back to the channel so what we're doing today is cleaning the stippling on here because you know you get a lot of dead skin and stuff or just dirt and yeah i made a video before we are you doing it i kind of got a little wrong last time <clears throat> Yeah. Kind of same process though. So what we got here, oh. soap and water. Then, let me see this cup. Then I got this cup of just water. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, you can just use a toothbrush. So this is uh, my cleaning kit. Um, little toothbrush because it got both ends and stuff. Yeah, we can just use normal toothbrush. So, guess we we'll just try to jump right on in this. We gonna yep. Yep, some soap. Yep, soap. Soap. So yep, yeah, then you just let's see here. What? You just yep. you just rub at it. You just rub it and get it good. Pretty simple. <clears throat> I like keeping my guns clean and somewhat new looking. So, oh, what I didn't get, bring out here. Yep. Of a. Yep. Maybe a rag. Yep. Because a paper, a paper towel will just break up and get caught up in here. Then you just got to clean it again. So. I haven't done this. I haven't done this since my last video. And that was like probably like a year ago. Almost a year ago. If not a year what? ago. What? What? Someone, someone had to go get a rag at some point. I normally use the water to kind of like get the soapiness off, but you can do it either way. You can use just use the rag to get to get it off. Pretty much up to you on that. And it is clear, so everybody knows. Now, there is some people out there that are, that are stupid enough, you know. I think their gun's clear, but it's not clear, and they go to clean it, and they're just flashing themselves the whole time. So. What? That was a grum. What? It was fast? Yeah, what? Yeah. It was a little Honda grum. I used to have some. I sold my bike. It was a 2020 gram, got it new. But <clears throat> I wanted something a little bigger. Well, I wanted something bigger, so I sold my 21 CB300R to get something bigger. Never got nothing bigger. And I sold my grom um, because I wanted to use that to get a new grom when the new body styles came out. I haven't got one. Yep. So. So. Yeah, soap. Soap. Yo, soap. Soap. Yep, yeah, soap. Yep, soap. Um. Soap. I'm probably gonna be a little lazy in this video. <clears throat> I'm just gonna use my shirt to dry this off. Soap. Yep. Soap. 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 Yeah, soap. Soap. Yep. Yep. Yep, I'm just using my shirt. 
Let me clean this off. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Whoa. Almost just spit on my gun. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see right here. There's a little bit of whiteness. <laughs> so apparently my nail just got that dirty. Cool. Now I gotta clean that. Hi. Hi. Yep. Hi. Yep. Now we're gonna use the little bitty one. <laughs> yeah. The little bitty one. Yeah, I just try not to scratch my guns. Because I like them to look new. Try to keep them clean. <clears throat> try not to drop them. Especially this one. Yeah. Now this one probably, you know, this is kind of my desk, desk gun now. What was my carry gun? That's why it's just kind of so clean. Um, these are actually Glock sights. If you haven't watched any of my other videos of installing these. I did actually scratch these. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of scratch, and there's a scratch here from installing these. Um, but I actually put some touch up paint right there so you can't really see it. But it's, it's kind of the sights, I don't really care. These are actually very cheap sights. I think these things are probably like less than five dollars off of amazon <clears throat> they work great bye works 10 times better than you know just having the blacked out sights here i don't like it and they're a little bit lower see the holster ugh, if i can get that in there the holster kind of scratches that up so yeah I don't really care too much about the sights. They're going to get beat up. I just don't want my gun to get beat up. <clears throat> I got another gun to clean up too. But I'm actually going to get a rag. Be right back. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Got my rag. Clear. What you want? Clean. Clean? Clean yeah. what? I'm trying to clean. <clears throat> This is my nice gun. The shadow system XR920. It's the basic what you can get, about 680. Okay. Expensive to me. But then I got my $260 gun that I carry all the time. The Taurus. <laughs> <clears throat> Try to clear this. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, yep. <clears throat> this is my Taurus. Yep, two hundred sixty dollars. Now this gun, I can beat up a little. I haven't cleaned these at all. Looking a little rough. I kind of abuse this gun just a little. So. Let's clean this a little bitty gun. It's a good gun. <clears throat> um, first, when you get them, trying to put yeah. the bullets in, almost impossible. I'm pretty dang strong, but trying to put the bullets in on a brand new mag, holy cow. Literally, probably impossible to do. So, you gotta get like a mag loader. And that's still almost impossible to load too. Oh. 
Yeah? Oh, die. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, die. So. <clears throat> yep, blue flag. But after maybe a month blue flag. of keeping up. Blue flag. Yeah. Blue flag. Yep. Blue flag. It's a brush. Yeah, brush. Basically, <clears throat> after a month of keeping them loaded, um, no more, it, no more issues of it being very hard to put any bullets in. And I think that might have been my feeding issue of the last video I did of shooting this gun, and it was like jamming, um, because. These mags are, the spring is so stiff that I think that it was like, you know, <clears throat> just shoving the bullet in there so hard <clears throat> and not, you know, getting in there, if that makes any sense. But after that, yeah. haven't had no issues with this gun having any issues at all even the mag issue I don't even I haven't even had any problems of <clears throat> the mag falling out so don't get me lying on that I do not know see I see blue brush yeah yeah blue brush it's a q-tip basically a very long Q-tip for cleaning guns. And other stuff, I guess. But it's when you look them up, it's for guns, Whoa. basically. <clears throat> and I haven't cleaned this gun since the last time I shot it. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Throw a little bit of lube in there. See, see, blue brush? Yep. See, blue brush? Whoa. See, see, blue brush? Yeah. See, brush. It's a Q tip. Q tip. Q tip. See, blue brush? It's a Q tip. Why do you say it's a paintbrush? Yeah, paintbrush. <clears throat> so, we're gonna just kind of lube this up a little. This gun's kind of like Glock, but you got to put a trigger for that. Ah! For that kind of come out. This is looking a little dirty. I don't know if you can see that. But this baby's looking a little dry. Get you anything? Bloody! So to be honest, probably just going to do a little wiping. Just a little wipe in to clean it up just a little. Because the day is not a gun cleaning day. So. <clears throat> that's what day it is. I know people might be like, you're being lazy. Thank you. I'll take it as a compliment. Cause I sure am. Look at that. Look at all that dirtiness. But we're just gonna wipe it off, lube it up. Well, then again, I know some people probably would be just like, it's like, oh, I do this all the time. This is my normal maintenance. This ain't my normal maintenance. It's really, you get a half job like this. <clears throat> Or you get a real good job. Paintbrush? 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 No, it's not a paintbrush. But that looks good. It's nice. Oh, 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 Somewhat clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks good.
Well, uh, probably wipe this spring a little. Looks good to me. So we do want to use this stuff. Wait a minute. I ain't sponsored, so. It's soap. You should. Well, everybody does it a little different. I am going to dibble a little bit of that in there on, you know, for the barrel. I'm going to drop some on the barrel. I really don't shoot my guns that much, so I kind of like to keep it a little, a little lubricated. Lubricated. That's how we're going to say it. Yep. You're going to dribble some on that spring. A little, a little. Not much, so don't, don't think I'm drowning this stuff over here so I just try to put a little bit on these rails so that it looks good that's pretty much it just a little slide this baby on here come on just shake it in there Pretty much it. I kind of like to wipe a little bit of on the whole gun a little. It's Santa. Oh, on the, what on the, the the screen door? No. Well, you know what it is. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so that's a little bit of lubricant. This baby. Is not it's at all. <clears throat> it's still got a little in there, so that's good. I don't use it. I'm just gonna dribble just a little on these rails, a little bit on there. No, that's good to go for me. Pretty much it for me. <clears throat> that's pretty much it for this video <clears throat> yeah. this is actually a 40 caliber my Taurus I like it if you're looking for a cheap gun get the Taurus if you're looking for a somewhat of expensive gun get a shadow system or a Glock it's basically a shadow it's basically a Glock basically in the description, it'll be my store um, link of, uh, yeah. I just made three more new shirts. Um, yeah, and don't forget about the giveaway. Every thousand subscriber subscribers, I'll be giving away a black powder pistol or rifle. Rifles are a little bit more expensive. Um, but just go into description below and I have the link, everything. And if you want to vote on what revolver is out of three, what revolver that you would like to win, <clears throat> obviously you need to be a subscriber. And if you go to the community where the posts are, and just scroll down till you see the three revolver. Uh, just vote on them. Vote on one. And hopefully you win it. That's at 2,000 subscribers. And if you want to help the channel. Buy some of the merch. Yeah. Yeah. That's what. So yep. Um, thanks for watching. Um. Yeah. Have a good one. See ya.